Alright then everyone, hello and welcome back to another episode of the Final Fantasy VI Blindfolded LLG. So, time to finally get Cyan, time to finally follow the breadcrumbs that the game left me so long ago. Let's just walk upwards here. This will line me up with the inn. Unfortunately, there's a whole bunch of NPCs in this town. But fortunately, they don't get my way too hardcore, as long as this guy at the very beginning doesn't get in my way, and, you know, if he gets in my way, whatever. I just started, so reset isn't all that bad. So I run right until- run left until I hit the tree. Thank goodness this tree is here, I'd have to take t several steps back, and that would be not nearly as good. Also, even if this guy doesn't get- does get in my way. I get an indication right away, so I might be able to correct myself. There we go. I entered the armor shop as expected. Now I just gotta leave. Now I have to go to the right here, obviously. However, you might notice that NPC, and he's a bit weird. It seems like the tile he starts on is one that he's not actually allowed to stand on generally, despite the fact that they placed him there. So if I just walk right immediately out of the gate, he'll actually stand in the same spot indefinitely and chew me out. So I don't want that to happen. Fortunately, he can't walk back there once he's left, so I just have to wait a couple seconds. In fact, I only need to wait a moment, like a lot less time than I did, but I was talking, so... Run right to here. This is like the last NPC who has any relevance, so... This guy can still get my way. Fortunately, the lady up there... Not such a big deal, because she's not walking. And the lady down at the bottom right is walking in a circle in a place that I can't even get to by mistake, really. And if I do make it there by mistake, I'll say goodbye to the segment anyway. the door. Probably didn't need to hold up that long. So now I just run to the right wall, go all the way up to the top, and I'll run into a flower. And now once I do this, I'll be able to just back out one spot, and a conveniently placed flower will line me up with Lola. How nice. Aren't we glad that Cyan didn't just send one last flower? That would have sucked. Alright, hello Lola. Good, I seem to be talking to her because my menu is not opening. Oh, apparently I left my cursor on save from the last segment, but that's no big deal. Left one, up one. Hello, let's grab this letter. And I'll select all the right options just by mashing the A button, so let's just continue menu tricking for a bit longer. Thankfully, Miranda is no Nikea. Which saves me a lot of hassle. Now I can just go down and right until I make it to the bottom right of Lola's house. Give the letter to the bird and I'm home free. I actually completely forgot about this part, to be honest, and like when I was planning. So I just walked straight into Zozo and I was like, alright, so what's the fruit in here? Gotta walk up to this rustic guy and oh wait, nothing's happening. That's not very helpful now, is it? I should be down at the bottom right now. One to the left, one down, and that takes me at the door. First step, second step, third step. It appears that the guy got in my way for one of those times. Uh, what's happening? Did I accidentally uh, go one to... Oh, I must have been talking to the guy when I was walking upwards and trying to talk to the bird. Okay. Good thing I got lucky and didn't take another step left uh, just after our text box closed. Man, I thought that plan was foolproof too. Alright, just gotta wait till the movie I mean, the music starts and then book it. So that, that guy doesn't get my way again. Actually, I could have just been pressing down and right the entire time, but you know, details. Alright, made it out. 
pretty obvious that the cutscene with the bird played, so... Ready to start part two. This part's short, and the second part will be too, but the third part will probably be pretty long. Okay, let's continue with part two of the enthralling Mount Zozo saga. So in this part, I'm going to be grabbing that rust rid. You don't actually have to talk to the bird here, so... No need to bother with that. I'll just leave that bird sitting there for all eternity, like... Yep, I'm never carrying that letter up to Cyan. You wasted your time sending that letter from Miranda. Good thing it didn't cost any money. Right one, down two to get around the trash can. Now I just hold left because I'm not going into the building yet. So I reach the left side of the screen, which isn't very far. One, two, three. Walk up to the top. Now I might run into the uh, rusted guy here, but I don't care yet because I don't want to... Because there's no point in talking to him, it's not easy to check whether I've uh, talked to him or not. And as it turns out, it's super easy to talk to him if I had used the right methodology, so for now I'll just ignore him and hope I don't run into him. I got lucky enough not to run into him at any rate. Out of the room and hold left and mash A. I thought it made a noise when you got the rust rid. Let's just find myself again. Ah, I don't. I think it was talking when the door noise played. Maybe I selected no by mistake. I know if I hold right, it'll toggle to the no option, so yeah, maybe that's what happened. Walk out. There's my rust rid. Alright. It's easy enough to warp out of here. It's honestly no slower, but it means I don't have to redo that if I mess the next portion up, so... Let's call another mini-segment there. Alright then, now for the big one. All the way down to the bottom. You saw this part before, obviously, like, not too long ago. It wasn't even that long for me, really, because this didn't take that long to memorize. Like, I think it was 12 minutes ago that I... I started... that I shut down the last recording, so... Yeah, it's been about 12 or so minutes. Right, down, down, around the trash can. There's that door noise I was looking for. Hello guy walking around, I don't really care about you. One step to the right, all the way up to the top. Right and up to get to the, this spot here. All the way to the left. And now I should be up the first staircase. Back one spot, and then I can line myself up with the second staircase. The segment is kind of like often it feels like these the navigation in every area is themed, even though it obviously isn't. But it kind of helps me remember it a little bit if I it's somewhat themed in my head at least. Now I can go right and up. Now I go for a while. I can't use the battles to tell me if I'm in the right place, and if I could, then this would probably be where I'd be getting that battle, but I can't, so it really doesn't matter. So I've just got to go up and right for a bit. And then I'll hit the uh, corner here. Thankfully it sticks out one from the side, so then I've only got to take one step back to reach the doorway that I want to go into here. But yeah, often I just need to do a couple small movements to line myself with a really easy larger movement a lot of the time. 
Alright, gotta be quiet here because I wanna listen for the door sound. This is one of those areas where the doors feel extremely quiet. Uh, wow, that's it? I could have sworn it would be longer distance. Sure felt longer. In my head. Well, I'm in the dungeon, so I didn't mess it up. At any rate, I can either go left or up, and up, or up and left. It doesn't matter here. Because either way, it guides me straight to the place that I want to be, which is the corner somewhat below the chest-ish. Obviously, it's the right of the chest, but details. It's like 11 o'clock at night, okay. Alright, I uh, should probably have made it soon, because even though that was a fair distance. Now I go down and left. Of course, this is a much smaller distance, so... And that's pretty much it, actually, for the up, for the uh, suit of diagonal directions. Finally figured out what to call those so that I can refer to them succinctly without... That should be f far more than good enough. All the way to the right. Now there's a thing sticking out of the wall here, so I go around the thing. Down one, right, two, up one. Now I run right to the staircase, which will block my path. I can't actually step onto the staircase. But... That means I have to go up, right, and down to get to where I would have been otherwise. I run right down and right until I reach that other chest. There it is. Alright, now I've gotta, like I said, line myself up with the uh, bigger walks. Left and up, left two. I'm lined up to go straight through this doorway. Now I gotta wait a bit because I have no battles to tell me when I've made it to the uh, other ends, so I kind of lose my sense of scale a little. So now I go up one. Now I can go right across this bridge. This bri bridge is a little bit squiggly wiggly here, so... Down, right, and then down. I just can't make straight bridges in this game. Man, eh. All the engineers in Final Fantasy VI must really suck. Either that, or all the architects in Final Fantasy VI are just really weird. Up one, all the way to the left, and unfortunately they didn't nicely put this uh, chest right on the far end, so I can't just mash the A button and... Oh, I got to the end. Because if I try to press the up button to tell when I gotten to the chest, I might end up messing myself up if I hadn't made it to the end. What a pain. There's my thunder shield I was looking for. That will be helpful in a, against a certain wind-based opponent that's coming up. If you are coming here after playing Brave New World for a long time, remember that in vanilla, thunder shields uh, nullify wind. So that's kind of important. Now I go right and up to line myself with the side of the chest, and more importantly, the staircase that I used to get up. Then I just take one step up to line myself up with the second staircase, and walk back to the left. And then I just take one step up to line myself up with the, uh, bottom edge of the cliff side here. get the feeling that this kind of cave would be cool to walk around in real life, but, you know, definitely wouldn't exist in real life. Back one to line myself up with this opening. Just lining myself up with everything here. So yeah, this is another long walk, but long walks in a straight in a direction aren't nearly as long in reality as pseudo-diagonals, so I can deal with that. Uh, 
Alright, that should be good enough. There's my Aegis Shield that I may or may not even use. Line myself up with the doorway and walk out the doorway. Which brings me out onto a cliffside where there's another chest that contains something. I swear it was... I have no idea. I totally forget. Was it like a cat hood or something? No, that's Final Dungeon, isn't it? Whatever. Oh yeah, gold hairpin. That's it. Now I walk back up, and as you notice, I just walk straight back in the direction I was. It's like, come on, what was I doing? But... Of course, I just want to make it so that I can line myself easily up going back into this room. Two down, all the way to the right. Now this lines me up with this doorway pretty nicely. If I only go one down, I crash into the wall, and if I go around that spot, I just end up on that little bridge anyway, so that doesn't help. So yeah, now I can walk out this gigantic opening here, and now I'm on the cliffside with a bridge here. A much larger bridge than the ones in the cave, but... You know, you can only build decent bridges outside caves. It's uh, Final Fantasy VI Universe's re version of OSHA. All they do is regulate bridges, and they don't do it very well. They don't even pick sensible rules, really. All the way to the left, which will bring me straight across this bridge, which is just one straight path, like everything in this dungeon. So yeah, I'll hit this rock, which is actually fairly conveniently placed for me, believe it or not. Now I just walk straight up. And as you notice, I'm on the left side of a cave, I mean on the right side of the cave, because I'm going to be entering the downward facing cave from the right side. It's kind of weird, but it works out perfectly for me, so I'm going to do it. All the way to the left. Man, I hope I haven't messed anything up since that uh, first chest, because, I mean the last chest, not the first chest, I definitely haven't messed it up that long ago, because... I didn't just walk into those other chests by accident, now did I? Now I walk up one to get onto this bridge. And now there's the thingy sticking out of the wall, just barely, because... You know, just to get in my way to the save point, so... Boop. 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 Ah, oh, gosh. How did that happen? Did I accidentally... The only thing I can think of, I might have accidentally gone three steps down when I uh, stepped out of the cave earlier, the small cave entrance and not the large one. So I'm going to walk myself up to the top left, I'm gonna go down two, right one, all the way up to the top. Now I'm thinking that brought me back into the small cave, but if it didn't, I'm going to walk right one and then all the way up to the top, which shouldn't throw me off. And I have a prediction at least of where I ended up after I left that small cave, so... You know, I can try and see if I'm right next to an entrance. I'll take a step right and see if I exit something, because I'll... I know that I'm one step away if I am where I think I am at all. Interesting, so I wasn't able to open the menu there. That's actually a good sign that I did what I thought I did correctly. One, two, this is the last time I'll try this and it doesn't work out. Thankfully I didn't go downward any respectable distance after leaving that small cave, otherwise my whole plan would have been bunked. We know how whenever a bunk goes near anything, he messes it up. I should be lined up at the big cave entrance. 
or rather exit, if I did everything correctly, which I'm hoping I did, or rather did fix things correctly after I didn't do things correctly. Sometimes fixing things is almost as good as doing it correctly in the first place. That's a terrible motto to give people, but whatever. All the way right, so I'm hopefully hitting the rock for realsies this time. If I'm not, I'm gonna restart because this is getting way too confusing for my head. If I didn't do what I did earlier correctly. So yeah, second verse, same as the first, I'll just do everything exactly the same. And now is where I enter this room, hopefully. That's the uh, weird cave entrance I was mentioning earlier. And if not, if I'm walking around for ages without any clue where I am. So that would be fun. Down, left, up to get around there. Nice! <laughs> oh, came back from that one. would have probably taken me just a bit, as much time as I spent practicing it if I hadn't made that mistake earlier. That should be the end of this one. Storm Dragon can be his own thing, I think. See you next time!